This is a scapular assessment I do using spork motion. I like to watch the scapula move in abduction, just seeing the difference between left side and right side. I like to watch fluidity of movement, any kind of compensations. I watch it at half speed, just watching. This is the right side. What we'll notice is if we watch he'll start getting some lateral flexion when that scapula upwardly rotates you'll start noticing he will laterally flex through his spine because he's actually restricted in that shoulder and we can measure that degree angle so I'm just gonna go frame by frame and watch as he goes up right there you'll start noticing right in his lateral line right there he will actually start laterally flexing to get more motion and that's just information now I'm going to measure the angle that he has right when that lateral flexion starts that's where I'm counting it from I'll put the angle on there put it right at the axis You get an idea of the number of degrees on one shoulder compared to the other. This is real time with the left shoulder now. I'll watch it in half speed, looking to see if we have any compensation, looking at the scapular movement. And actually when we have a move, it appears he has less range on this side, but he actually isn't compensating through that lumbar spine we're not seeing that little curvature that much like we were on the other side so I can measure from that angle there put an angle and measure and just see the differences between the two sides I'd also like to take the measurement tool and have a fix known in the field so what I've got are two marks on the wall that are 36 inches apart. Using the calibration tool, I can change it to 36 inches. And now everything I measure has a new fixed point. Using the postural grid is very nice here as well. We can resize and align. We can align it on the points of the scapula to see if they're at the same level. We can also pay attention closely to where his body position is, his pelvis. We can put markers on the P, uh, PSIS on the back, put a line right on there, and look at his overall alignment, and look as one shoulder lower than the other, and then look at the quality of motion they achieve when they upwardly rotate. The bullseye is one of my favorites. We can actually use it and place the bullseye on the axis, so we can actually take it and put it right at the point of the axis of rotation in the scapula. And using the color code, you get an idea of range of success. And compare the two sides.